Hi, it's Mary Beth Kelchin, and I'm going to talk to you today about creating an additional profile in Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to go down to the bottom here, bottom left, and I'm going to click on the Microsoft icon. If you have XP, it'll still say Start, I believe. It's been a while. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to Microsoft Office Outlook. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to Properties. When I do that, I'm going to have three options, email accounts, data files, and show profiles. I want to go to profiles, so I'll go ahead and click on that. And you notice that I only have one profile set up right now. And you might be wondering, well, why would I want a second profile? Well, an example would be perhaps you want to set up a profile for your children on your computer so that their email doesn't get mixed in with your email or perhaps your wife, your husband, or you could also set up a secondary profile for yourself. Maybe you wanna keep your business emails and your personal emails separate to some extent anyway. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on add. Before I do though, you'll notice that it says prompt for a profile to be used. If you don't want it to prompt you when you log in, then you could say always use this profile and apply and hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Add. And my profile name is going to be MB. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me to go ahead and type in my name and then my email address. I'll use this one. Type in my password. Hopefully this is the right one. And then I do prefer to manually configure my server settings. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and hit next. And it's going to ask me what type of email service is this. It's going to be pop. So I'm going to leave it up at the top. If you're on an exchange server, you can check that. And other, like Outlook mobile service, you would check the bottom one. So I'm going to go ahead and go next. And it already has in here account type POP3. Your incoming mail server. Well, I'm using a GoDaddy email account. So I know my incoming mail server is pop.secureserver.net. My outgoing is smtpout.secureserver.net. My username is my full email address. If you're using, let's say, a KW email account, you do not put in your full email address. It's only the part before the and. And then type in your password. Again, I hope that's right. And then I can just go ahead and do a quick test account settings. And let's see if my password was right. Oh, now I'll tell you why that didn't work. You notice that it did work for the incoming, so I know my password was okay. But what I need to do is I need to go to more settings and I need to go to my outgoing server and say my outgoing server requires authentication. Log on, use the same settings as my incoming mail server. So I do want to use the same settings as my incoming because I'm actually using GoDaddy's outgoing server. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. But one thing that's so very important, the most important thing when you're setting up email accounts in Outlook, click on Advanced and check Leave a copy of the message on the server. If you don't do this, when you pull this email off, it's off the server. So if you go to another computer and try to check your email, it will not be there. Now it's up to you if you want to put remove from the server after a certain amount of days. Not bad, not a bad idea because you know you could reach your capacity or your quota. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at. I'll probably put 90 days in here. Say OK. Test my account settings. Should get a green check mark. There I did. Congratulations. Close. Go next. Finish. And I'm done.